Yeah, mom, what's going on? Hey, I'm out here at Scott's farm, and this is for round nine, little track preview. Big weekend this weekend out here, back to school bash. Got some music Saturday night by uh, Wyatt Turner. We got the Barbie Jeep uh, race on Saturday. Saturday's bikes, so uh, for people staying around and stuff, you got the Barbie Jeep, don't forget that. And then, uh, like I said, that evening, Wyatt Turner, it's going to be playing some music. So uh, big weekend this weekend. So hope everybody comes out and stays. A lot of room out here. So let's get to the track preview. Um, probably going to bring you some single track too. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Can't think today. Uh, anyways, we're going to be going out here. Little swooper, like I call them, up the hill. Up towards, but we're going to turn uh, left up there, you'll see. So um, by the little hunting shack you're gonna pass that to the left so also i want to thank a good friend of mine and mechanic doug bailey for getting xcene back she got everything done to her it's like a brand new bike i'm excited jetting uh v-force reeds clutches top end uh shit i can i don't know there's so much uh repack the pipe and uh i don't know he just had it for a couple weeks and just uh, this bike just feels totally different and i'm just really excited to get out here and uh do a track preview and get on the bike so thanks again doug bailey i appreciate it um oh look at that just kicks one start pure let's get on it Uphill. This is an uphill little thing. And then you'll be shooting into the woods. Wow, it feels a lot different. First time I'm back on my bike. Um, like I said, since the uh, sprint enduro. camber turn might be in a little new section scrappy off camber right here and then you'll uh you'll bypass uh finish which was probably down there and then you'll keep coming this track has a good bit of uh It's totally different than when I first got it. I like I said, I haven't really ridden it. So I took it up the street, but those V4 reeds and stuff, it's just awesome. Alright, so right here we got a little sharp turn. A lot of roots showing. Oh and I gotta fix my hand. to the uh <laughs> all right so here's where the uh barbie jeep will be at for saturday night like last year i competed this year i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna save myself i got too much stuff going on but uh i'll be there to film it now you can see we're running this track 
back backwards, uh, I think from last year. So, little sharp left hand turn, nice burn. Especially for the bikes. Uh, going first on Saturday and then quads on Sunday. Nine o'clock, Manny's. But it used to be a nice up, uphill right here. I remember ye last couple years ago, maybe this thing was wet and it was nasty. So it looks like we're gonna bypass that. Weather this weekend uh, looks like a hit and miss. What I'm seeing, scattered. <laughs> I think there used to be another little hill climb right over there. You guys checked my videos out from last year. Woo, the response on this bike. I, I don't know if it's the jetting with the V4s, reeds or what, but uh, oh, we got a little jump. So, Minnie's would have cut off. What are you doing? Did you get it fixed? Yeah. All right. Hey, that tree that you had to duck back there, that seemed like it's too low. The tree laying right back on the path right back. I didn't even really pay attention, so, okay. yeah. Hey, it flowed over yesterday, and I didn't, we didn't notice it, and we took the buggy back out through there last night. And it hit the cab of the buggy, so I'm gonna cut it down. Oh, okay, but I really did. Normally, I will say something if it's tight. I don't know if I was standing because I've been standing a lot, but Probably I. We were sitting right there because I didn't notice. Oh, okay. I didn't notice it until we took the buggy back through there. We hit the cab of the buggy. Oh, okay. The, the thing, which is six foot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm standing up. No, yeah, I didn't. There. Yeah, I didn't really pay attention. I was probably looking down. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, it was right there. But there was some rocky shit and stuff on why I haven't been on my bike in so long. I'm trying not to crash. <laughs> I'll see you, Brian. All right, so uh, we're heading back into the woods here. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to do a lot of, trying to get back into the rhythm of the bike. Get my ass, whoa. Get my ass scanning, but uh, like I said, these tires are kind of uh, whomped out. But anyways, the uh, micros cut off back there. And then the youth will be cutting off right here, it looks like, so. Adults will be heading down. Appreciate everybody watching my videos. Uh, thanks for the donation. Oh shit. See, uh, this is kind of a grassy kind of watch it uh, whoa <laughs> off camber all right so right here you can stay up high or go low oh look at that it's just a creeper all right so I'm at the one mile mark and it looks like we're heading back down Looks like they're taking us back down into the uh, little ravine. All right, this section's got uh, some rocks. Nothing too bad. Especially for you West Virginia boys. We're still in uh, West Virginia. Said Brewster Mills. It's out routes, or out uh, 60. 68. Woo! Man, I'm about to watch this bike. Oh, longer. <laughs> wow. I tell you what. Whoa! Shit! Too much power for me now. 
Alright, so we got a little cut through section. Alright, we got our first little uh, kind of water hole here. Another little water hole. These are in the shaded area, so they'll probably be dried out by the time. Alright, so we got a we got an easy and a hard. Alright, so maybe our first little uh, First little juju here. All right, so uh, there's the hard going up that hill. I am in uh, no shape today to uh, try that. So especially with my tire on here, I don't want to mess up my bike, but. That's a good little hill climb right there. So when you come around after that first mile mark, you can either go left or right. We'll go the easy route, see where it matches up. So hard, you got a big steep hill climb, kind of like last year with a little kicker on the top. And this year, the easy route. jump back on with the youth and looks like some micros to back on so you guys might get a lot of bit a little a bit of everything today a lot of minis a lot of uh, uh, youth and um, with this guy and he was calling him tram road for some reason. Whoa, shit. I about lost it. <laughs> Slipper right there. got a little uh, cross section youth and uh, micros oh but looks like we kind of hooked back up over there so uh, youth and uh, minis will go that way so I keep saying micros minis you know hopefully everybody knows the same thing uh, GNCC calls them um, whoa got a nice steep downhill here it's short Like some new fresh cut section. And the new fresh cut section always has them. Well, we've probably ridden it, but that little part up there was kind of fresh. Oh, big tree came down. Alright, so uh, shooting down through here. Got some X's, be careful. What we got? Oh, got a little uh, little drop down, looks like. Crossing a street, so you're gonna have uh, those. <laughs> um, gutters or ditches coming across, so be careful right there, definitely. Coming into there, uh, looks like some fresh cuts, so we got some logs and shit laying down. So be careful turning and stuff. 
This is, looks like definitely some fresh cut. Just take the big old dozer and blade in front, come in and start going back. Now we're starting back down a hill on some old stuff or whatever this old path may have been. right over here and uh, jump that if you want but uh, not my cup of tea not today anyway forgot my gloves and right, my uh, card helmet and how about that crap <laughs> racing my car and uh, don't forget Friday night at Anmore uh, Friday night at Anmore uh, if the rain holds off and stuff, we'll be racing, racing cars. But anyway, had my first race. My car was just dialed in. I mean, the track was brand new. Whoa, a little downhill grass stuff. Oh, watch the sticks. Um, and this track was a little bit long. Oh, what? Whoa, logs and shit right there. Be very careful. I don't know what the hell that was. Um, but coming in before this left turn, be careful. Uphill. Oh shit, my bike can do anything now. Yeah. Alright, so we're hooking back up with uh, Dol uh, the youth. <laughs> the youth and the uh, minis. This track was really rough, uh, kind of like a long oval. But my car, man, I tell you what, was just, it was on fire. It was hooking up on the turns, people were sliding out everywhere. And uh, it was just locked up. I mean, speed-wise, if you watch my vid, uh, I had to take my camera off on the main event because I couldn't open my shield. I stuck it in the wrong place and I couldn't get it to restick. But anyway, a little water hole right here. Um, if you watch my heat race, I mean, as soon as I was falling back, because this, this, um, my shield was fogging up. Everybody's shields were fogging up. It was just kind of a muggy night, you know. And uh, I couldn't really see, so it was my first time doing an actual, you know, start, like NASCAR type start, you know, with the green flag and all that. And I'm sitting out of my pole position, but outside. So you gotta wait for that inner guy to take off. So. The other guy, you know, he was taking off, the other guy was shooting up, but I got my cart, and that thing was just flying by him. And then the heat got raced, got a little bit more intense, but, um, yeah, that was fun as hell. Whoa, see, look at that. I gotta watch that shit, that's funny, it just wants to come up. Alright, so we're shooting along, uh, looks like probably just underneath, um, two, 
looks like two routes right right there. Maybe not just one. Um, shoot another finish. It's kind of a grown-up section, so this probably wasn't ridden last year or just an old Don't seem like too much is underneath it. These are the ones, like I said, that kind of freaked me out. You come flying through here, you don't know what the hell's underneath. But anyways, yeah. And then uh, Saturday night was a good night. Uh, I did the uh, Kenda nine-hour event with uh, my buddy Doug Bailey and this, um, this other guy that races quad, Evo, uh, from New York. Awesome dude. Uh, we did pretty well. We got second place. So. Uh, even with me on the team. <laughs> All right, it's so a little off camber. Looks like minis will be going up that way, and uh, you and uh, adults are staying here at the three mile mark. <clears throat> so yeah, it was a good turnout for the uh, Kenda stuff. It was uh, good weather, a little dusty. But otherwise, that was the first time, uh, you know, really racing in the dark. I've ridden quads in the dark, but really racing is a different kind of story. You know, if anybody's done it, um, it's like tunnel vision and shit, so it's pretty cool. Alright, so this is a definitely rocky section here. This is after the three mile mark. So like I said, don't forget, Barbie Jeep, get your Barbie Jeep uh, ready, and, uh, whoa, it's not kind of like the 450 quad I've been riding, you give it gas and it wants to yank your arms off, but still, this is just, I'm just so happy, it's just like getting a brand new bike. All right, so uh, looks like adults. Uh, here's a good spot to watch if you can find it after the three mile uh, and the seven. That's a kind of a switcher right there. Don't be cheating, people will be watching. <clears throat> All right, now this is a uh, downhill what we're going down. <laughs> and uh, okay, it started to look a little steeper than it was. I was just making sure because it's kind of grown up and uh, like I said, you just don't know what's underneath there. Not sure this weekend, but uh, be careful walking tracks if uh, the hornets and stuff are out, especially you Richie, glad you're okay. And uh, yeah, last race, but you got stung by a hornet and uh, he came in pretty bad, I heard. And the weird thing was, I was just riding with him up out to this outer section and he kind of lost me because it was kind of wet and muddy and I was on the pit bike and he was riding his quad and then the next thing I know, another guy's coming up to me and telling me that freaking uh, Richie came in just about half coherent and uh, running through banners and stuff and hit a little girl. Oh, okay, now watch it coming down this. You got a little, uh, little jumper. Uh, within the three mile mark uh, but yeah so he ended up in the hospital and stuff so uh, good to see him back and healthy all right so be careful uh, that little downhill it's got some rocks a lot of you guys are great at riding rocks little section down here but hopefully I can get this uh, video out a lot of stuff going on uh, can but make sure you guys like share subscribe all the good stuff it helps our channel helps the channel grow helps um, helps our sport grow helps get more people interested you know Want more people out here you don't want to keep racing the same people we need some new blood you know all right so we're still with a good bit of the youth with us so glad to have you aboard oh. so yeah like i said i'm just uh kind of jumping into another little uh oh this is 
rutted out, so we've definitely erased this at one time, probably in the mud, to really uh, gut this sucker out. Just because I've moved to a cart too, um, you know, I like that close competition racing, which is fun. Here, you know, your closest is at the beginning for the whole shot, and then, you know, most of the time it starts getting separated, spread out. All right, so we got a little uphill here, but this is definitely a new cut section. We're here at uh, oh, whoa. X's and uh, we're youth and adults still together. Bikes, be careful. There's a big washout in the middle. You get one of those that basically takes you where it's going and you don't want to do that. Like right here. See, it takes this and goes right there. All right, so at the bottom of this, you make a little left-hand turn. Or you can cut into the inside. Oh, a little roller coaster, which I like. All right, so there's the uh, old track, and it looks like we're cutting off. Maybe some, whoa, fresh cut little here. over to uh, another road. It definitely has a um, four mile mark. I'm figuring it's probably an eight niner. Nice trees to get up there. Nice box stand, you call them. on to here. Alright, it's so a little crossover. So they're utilizing a little bit of the old and some new. Which is nice. Alright, so here we got uh, like three different lines. Oh, across the bridge. Across the little bridge right here. So come up the bridge in a hard right. down next to the field here. hint that limb and just came up and just knocked my bad knee ah anyway <laughs> ah son of a um youth gonna be turning off why adults are gonna be heading to the left here i don't even know what that was four miles in maybe all right we're heading down uh looks like uh kind of in a new grassy section maybe 
hard to tell. These could be some old roads, new, um, definitely not new roads, but could be old roads they used back in the day, um, you know, farm roads. So it was kind of a little swooshy down to this little off camber turn. Downhill. So you biker guys coming for the first time, whoa, like the front runners. Um, depends all here, like as a prime and uh, in Draper, somebody shows up or whoa. Careful right through there, they got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. But uh, a little downhill section. Mm -hmm. All right, so for the bikes, uh, there is a single track, like I said, it should be coming up. Um, Whoa, we're coming down into a nice little uh, rocky bottom. Definitely uh, be careful in this section. It's funny because when you come see this Sunday afternoon after the races, it's going to be wide open. You'll be able to see everything. All right, so we got a little, uh, another creek crossing. Cool. A little uphill. different stuff in it. 
this section through here is more of your uh, sweeping through the trees. So yeah, for the next couple weeks, uh, three weeks, man, we got a lot of stuff going on. Any, uh, we got Mountain State this weekend, NEXC next weekend, and then GNCC is back at uh, Buckwheat. Hard left turn with a uh, hill climb. Jennings uh, CJ uh, Raceway, I guess you call it, or uh, the Buckwheat for the GNCC. A little long. Of course. All right, so uh, looks like um, single track for the bikes. So uh, sorry, uh, ATVs. We'll jump back on with you, but um, all right. So single track stuff today looks pretty cool. First one to ride it on a bike. Really tight. Not sure how long it is, but um, keep your eyes out on the markers. Plenty of markers out here. You shouldn't miss it, but it's tight, so be careful. But I can see markers all over here. Snow pitching. Make your way through. Nice deer track. Deer trailing. Love it. That's why I think all single trail stuff should be is just deer trails. Um, yeah, so right over here would be the uh, ATV adults, so we're just kind of shooting by it. Nice little single trail. That was fun. Whoa! And then, uh, Okay, then we're back on to uh, with the adults. All right, so watch that uh, single trail section. Then we're back on adults, ATVs, uh, what we got here. All right, so we got a nice little downhill section. This looks like two lines. Should have probably taken me inside after the uh, single bike track. So that was cool, whoa. I'd like to make a like an eight mile, ten mile, just single bike trail, just uh, deer trailing. All right, so this is kind of an open section. Yeah, so uh, through that single track on the bikes, there's but. Uh, couple options around there if you guys look at it again um, but just be careful like I said there's uh, trees are real close together it's a cool little spot to have a single bike because then out here you know it's all kind of wide open It's just fun to come out here on these evenings, you know what I mean, and just kind of cruise the trail. Not like I'm practicing or nothing, you know. No, I just got my bike back. Um, kind of ridden it probably about a month. So, you know. And um, 
just been kind of riding the quad and doing stuff and like I said I'll be a grandfather here soon could be in the next <coughs> just about ah, sorry swallow the bug oh god sorry about that <coughs> Great, that was yum. All right, so that was uh, what I see, six mile mark. Mm. All right, a little up view. Uh, <coughs> Or 1916 Pappy Scott Moonshiner, world's best Pappy. Oh, poor Pappy, born 1916. That's when uh, my grandparents were born, 1917. 92. Pappy had the moonshine. All right, wow, wow, what we got here? A lot of roots, some rocks. Like I said, gotta come out and try a go kart. But not for rent, <laughs> but uh, come out and check it out. Bunch of tracks around, so uh, yeah. First race, first win, 300 bucks. You know. Like I said, I can only go down from here. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna cross this road. Looks like just adults. Little feeder. Keeps the squirrels and other animals happy. Uh let's see. Oh I missed it. I was paying attention. Paying attention to all the shooting stuff and uh crap here. So you come around the feeder. And a nice cabin. Something up there. Bonfire going. Yeah, it's actually cool property here too. Too bad they don't have the big slip and slide like they did one year. So we're gonna shoot across this field. Watch it, maybe a little kick. Get you right there, not paying attention. 
know it's funny in some of these videos you guys think it's not well marked it is well marked it's, it's not me paying attention i'm looking at a lot of stuff you know uh i love sights <laughs> uh right here we're back with the youth and adults a little uphill uh West Virginia. Oh no, I didn't want to go that way. And then uh, up the hill. So that section right there, you want to stay kind of high. Don't go down where I did. Okay, get stuck. Alright, so another little uh, tree stand. Coming across youth and adults. Not too bad, some roots. Oh, then we got a hard left hand turn. Whoa! Uh, see? I'm not even paying attention. What did my dumbass do? Run right into the uh, run into the ribbon. Alright, let's check the camera. Alright, still recording. Oh, new cut. Into, uh, what we got? the finish so it looks to be about a seven mile track There's the finish. 